and P. Who or what might that be? That's me, Claudia Bishop Poet. I have been, during my formative years, I was a very independent, yet quiet, you might not be able to tell, first individual. Independent because I, at a tender age going, I have always tried to do things on my own, no matter what it is. Quiet because it doesn't matter what is happening around me, if I'm hungry, whatever I need, I will not be crying. I was told. During my formative years, things have changed. In addition to being quiet and independent, I was originally a pale. A pale, a active, P, persuasive, A, ambitious, I, independent, and D, diligent. <laughs> <laughs> During those years, I can reflect back on my high school days. That was where I was most active, and that's the acronym that I'll focus, that's the phrase, I'll, that's the word I'll focus most on. During that years, I, during that year, those years, I've always wanted to be involved in everything. Every and anything that was there, you can find me involved. If it was athletics, I'm there. If it was singing, I'm there. <laughs> if it was drama, I'm there. I'm there. If it was swimming, I still can't swim, I was there. I tried the badminton, oh boy. I tried volleyball, uh -uh. after a week, it hurt so much I stopped. And guess what, I tried the football, uh -huh. but I stopped after a month. Yeah. I did netball, and I think that's one of my favorite. I tried drama. Um, well, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> but all of those involvement has helped me to develop the woman I am today. Yes, a woman, and I'm still developing, as old as I may be, and as young as I may look. <laughs> um, the worst are the most difficult years of my life, but it's still going on. Uh, after high school, I, as an ambitious and independent person, leaving high school, I went straight into working because I figured that I did not want to pressure, you don't want to pressure your parents anymore, you wanted to take control of your life, you wanted to be that woman that you really want to be and make a way for yourself. So I started working, and then I started university, so you know how hectic that can be, full-time work, full-time university. I was actually cheating the system because I should not have been a full-time student. And it, well, it was a bit difficult, but I made it through. I'm here today. However, it has, it has its ups and downs because doing it that way has set me back a bit in getting through to do my master's. Well, thank God I'm here today. Thank God to the new school university who has accepted me. Despite my GPA, I went to <laughs> And uh, I'm here today, and my well, the ambition, which is it may seem high, but I'm pushing for it, and I know I'll reach there by the grace of God. I'm going to be an ambassador for my beautiful country, Jamaica. Someday, yes, I remember you all. <laughs> I spoke to the embassy and asked for Ambassador Powell, and I said, "Okay, send her in right here." And we'd have coffee and tea and reflect back on the Toastmasters. I still be a Toastmaster. Reflect on the Toastmasters day that we had together. But I do go back to Jamaica. I intend to push a little more for this Toastmaster. When I was there, going back a little, when I was there, I was being introduced to Toastmasters, but I was kind of reluctant, I don't know why, but because the person who was introduced to me was actually leaving the island, so I would not have anybody who would actually introduce me into the group, so I didn't go, and that was like seven, eight years ago. So this is my first, and I'm enjoying it. I love you all. <laughs> you all are so welcoming, and I'm passionate about Toastmasters, trust me, because me standing here, oh boy, you don't know what's happening here. <laughs> <laughs> but for the comfort that you all are giving me, I'm doing it. And I hope I do it good. All right. Um, not finished? Okay. <laughs> uh, up to today, which I don't really talk about because it is not very pleasant. 
but I'm pushing forward and I know that I'll make it no matter where I go and what I do. I'm in the middle of chapter, so it's intelligent. I'm active and I am um, ambitious. <laughs> yes. Um, in 2007, six, sorry, 2006, I was actually told that I was diagnosed with lupus. I've been living with it, but I've been ignoring it. Yes, I was told that it is life threatening, yes, but I'm still alive. Today is what? June the 8th, January 8th, 2010. June is my birthday, but sorry. So I'm very, everything is June for me. So it doesn't matter which month we're up, it's June for me. Now I'm told in November, when I did another blood test here, that it's not only lupus, but I have showbread, which is another life threatening. I'm living, wow. and I've been living for another 50 or more years, and I'm pushing. And as I know, I can make it because I'm a strong person, I'm active, I'm persuasive, I'm independent, I'm diligent, and I'm ambitious. Thank you. Mm -hmm.